The summary for urban policymakers is key to bringing the scientific underpinning and the evidence base to enable local leaders um, and city decision makers to understand the very latest climate science and to align their actions with what that science is telling them. So this time around, the SUP process has been much more regionally driven. Um, and it's been absolutely fascinating to hear both those topics and subjects that are shared in common and those that are different between different parts of the globe. So the regional uh, nature of the scientific understanding and the way that that varies, not only from cities in the global north to those in the global south, um, but also to many regions around the globe, um, has been an important differentiator. And the science is advancing and the understanding that we can bring from the IPCC to those different uh, regions it has been uh, important this time around. And then secondly, I would say then the way in which uh, the appreciation of uh, urban issues then links to the sustainable development goals and our ability to think about linkages between, for example, solutions to reducing CO2 or greenhouse gas emissions uh, and cleaner air in cities and for citizens uh, has been key as just one example um, but linkages also then to urban water uh, systems uh, and then uh, thinking about uh, linkages to nature-based solutions and urban greening um, have been important to build this time around and I think there is a much greater understanding of how we can take a systemic approach to the climate crisis uh, from this latest assessment cycle of the IPCC.